Hello, I'm Grandma Sandy, and I'm here to read a special story to my grandson and all the boys and girls that want to listen as well. The story that I'm going to read is an old one, and it's not going to take much time. It has a lesson or a moral at the end, and it is taken from the book called The Little Big Book for Grandmothers. And that book is written by, rather edited by Lena Tabori and Alice Wong. And let's begin with the maid and her milk pail. At the end, I'll show you the picture. But listen to see what happens to the maid or the young girl. Once upon a time, there was a young maid or girl who was walking to the market with her pail of milk on her head. Can you imagine? This pail of milk will make me rich, she thought happily to herself. I should be able to trade it for a half dozen or six eggs. And from the six eggs, six chickens will hatch. And when those six chicks are mostly grown, I should get a good price for them. I'll get the money in plenty of time to purchase a new dress for a special, special fair that's coming up in May, and that fair is called May Day. I'll pick a green dress, as green as the color that suits me best, and I'll go to the fair in my new green dress and be the envy of everyone there. Everyone will say, oh, isn't she special at her green dress? Many young gentlemen will try to talk to me, but I'll just turn my head the young maid got so carried away that she quickly turned her head to match her daydream and her pail of milk fell from her head. The chicks, the green gown, and all of the dreams of what she would do at the May Day Fair disappeared. And the moral of the story is, don't count your chicks before they're hatched. I hope you enjoyed the story from my heart to yours.